time for the garden walk. It's uh, the end of June 2021. So here we go. Been a pretty nice year for the garden. Don't have a whole lot of annuals up this year. There's the little how the little pond is doing here. Got some local pond scum and some uh, duck potato going in there. Got my little water circulator in there. I'm trialing these for the ponds over in Hotchkiss to uh, something to reduce evaporation out of them. Uh, a little mint section with uh, other stuff in it. Uh, walking onions and sunflowers and stuff. A little Siberian pea shrub. There's a young Siberian elm. Um, the cherries are fruiting this year. Got some of this red lamb's quarter that growing in this little corner over here. That uh, get started going. Morning, TJ. Morning, how are you? Good, yourself? And then, uh, this Rocky Mountain bee plant. Got a few of those in here. Yeah. Gotta make some real nice purple flowers here sometime soon. Got the welding rig set up here right now. little uh, rhubarb didn't like it here at first but it seems to be doing all right at least better now so, I've been surprised at how little I have to cut back the uh, flowers on those they don't flower too much right now it seems like there's a grape right in there it's gonna crawl up that tree it looks like this is a little mulberry tree here that uh, it don't it hasn't ever produced anything but it's only a couple of years old anyway that grape in here that hadn't produced anything yet it's only two years old but this cherry trees producing cherries for pretty much the first time in any bulk and of course I've been eating a bunch of them too so, you know, whatever. And that uh, boxwood maple is doing good. That one's going to need to get cut back here pretty soon. Cut it back to one or two stems so it can go up. Another Siberian pea shrub back here with uh, the ever present lock and onions and uh, rhubarb under it. Another cherry tree right here that has been producing this year. I've been eating a bunch of lamb's quarter out of here. <coughs> Cherry's growing off of a lamb's quarter, huh? Yeah, that lamb's quarter is all self-seeding, you know, it makes for a really good green ground cover. There's one of the spots where I regularly get mushrooms. Don't look like I have any new, new stuff poking out there. Kind of surprising, huh? That spot usually produces, has been producing about ever 
every week. Put two or three clumps in there. Pulled some out of there last week or so. A little bit of new hugo culture going to go in up there. <clears throat> of course the dock does just fine. That stuff don't care. And along with the sunflowers, there's a bunch of sun chokes in here. There's some hollyhocks, they're kind of pretty. And the mullen. The mullen's kind of getting over being pretty right now. Alfalfa has been one of my more successful um, nitrogen fixer cover crops. This apple tree is doing pretty decent. That grape, I think that grape died. And an apple tree there, elm trees. Eventually provide some shade over here. And a little choke cherry tree. And then, uh oh, I might have lost a purple choke cherry there. Oh well. This, uh, this mulberry over here is doing pretty good. It's got some ripe fruit on there this year. This stuff's pretty tasty. These are refining mulberry. They've only been in here like three years, but they've produced since the second year. Or this one has anyway. There's another one over behind me there that hasn't been doing too good. This section's kind of new this year. Yes, uh, of course you got your dock and your um, lamb's quarters and your walking onions. And there's one, two, and three pear trees in here. And some mint down in the bottom and a uh, there's some rhubarb and some salsify over there and over there is a clump of mushrooms this area has been producing a bunch of mushrooms Been producing right around the edges of this here. Um, there's a. Uh, let me see, is it four or five big elm logs buried right here that I propagated those mushrooms into a year or two ago? Let's see if we can see any pinning out here. Probably not. see the wildlife in there I think there's one place where they got harvested out of there lately I don't know, but that's a that right there is a nice stack of mushrooms fully ready for the harvest so, yeah I've been getting over the entire property I've been getting Four to five clumps like that every week this summer. It's been pretty nice. Lots of lots of good mushrooms to eat. And yeah, more sun choke, more lamb's quarter. Um, cherry tree right there produced a little bit this year, but the birds ate that one off pretty good here in the backyard. They don't get disturbed as much back here, so.
You got garlic in several places around here. This is probably one of the best, better clumps of it. I'm letting all of those uh, garlic scapes from from all of these ripen this year. And I'm gonna replant them. And I need to spread the garlic more. All pretty much all of the. Walking onions will get exported this year. Oh, nice. It looks like this uh, mulberry over here actually is producing some fruit this year. So that'll be nice. And I was poking around over here the other day and noticed parts of this cotton Easter were dying back. And Got to looking in underneath it, and it looks like I've got several, a couple of Nanking cherries, a Siberian pea shrub seedling, and probably a choke cherry of some kind. Um, and there's another Nanking over there, I think, that have sprouted up under here so I took and cut this uh, cut this back to allow some more light into them and also to open up the dogs hang out under here she likes to come back in here and grab herself a napping spot every now and then <laughs> so, yeah Guess that probably does it for the garden walk for today. Y'all enjoy and may your gardens grow well.